So we got basically another leak and rumor and such about what possibly the next generation of consoles could possibly end up be costing. And so far, it's honestly looking really, really good. But we do not know still at this point. But on the other hand, we will be getting what the consoles are going to cost within the next two months because we are literally only just about five to six months before the consoles initially launch. So, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hit a like at the end of it. Subscribe for those of you that are new. And also, send me down in the comment section down below. And let's get this video out of the way. <laughs>
Microsoft Phil Spencer also said the same thing with the Xbox Series X. So, with the price point being 400 bucks as a success, the yeah, <laughs> success is what I'm trying to say. That word sometimes I can't even say it. But with the 360 being that price point and it being a, su a success, and then you have the PS4, which also was the same boat with it being 400 bucks. So. What I honestly think is that they're not wanting to go over that price point because they seen what they're doing. And because of it, they're making so much money and revenue. And even though that they will be taking a big loss on these consoles, especially with that, because we've already know what the PlayStation 5 costs to manufacture per console, and it's basically $450. But that's $50 they're going to take out of a cut loss, but they're basically got, you got games that you're going to be buying, there's about half of the owners that are going to get PlayStation Plus, so they're basically going to build up on revenue, and that's the same thing with what Microsoft, I think, is also saying now, because you got Xbox Live Gold, Xbox Live Ultimate, which you get Xbox Live Gold and Game Pass, and then you got just Game Pass for 10 bucks a month and game pass actually just managed to just the other day reach the most highest amount of subscriptions that it's ever had so with microsoft taking a loss and also playstation honestly you know with the success that they had for the previous generation of consoles with the 360 being the more cheaper and winner and then ps4 honestly i think that it's going to be a good run for both Microsoft and Sony. Now, the thing of it is, is that we don't know if it's going to be officially true because this could all not be really true at all. Then instead, the PlayStation 5 could still be 500 bucks and the Series X may be 500 bucks. But then, if you think about it with the Series X, it also doesn't make a lot of sense with the Series X being 400 bucks because there's this rumor and leak about the Lockhart that's supposed to be coming out and it's supposed to be the more affordable console but it's not going to be as powerful as like the Series X but you're still going to get the better detail in the graphics and the much more smoother frame rate it's just going to be instead of 4k it'll just be in like 1080p without I think ray tracing now we haven't seen a rumor or nothing like that about whether if the Lockhart if it's even true if it's going to have ray tracing because we already know the Series X has already got ray tracing and the PS5 has also got ray tracing. But I, I would have honestly assume that probably not just so they can keep the cost down and not have so much tech put into it. But at the same time, you still will get a game next gen gaming experience with games looking like they would on the Series X, but just in like 1080p, possibly without ray tracing is probably what's going to happen. And I know a lot of people are also wondering about what the price point is going to be for it as well. Well, if the Series X is going to be 500 bucks, then most likely the Lockhart is most likely going to be 300 bucks. Basically, just like how with the Xbox One X when it first came out, you had the Xbox One S being at 300 bucks with a one terabyte, and then you have the Xbox One X being at 500 bucks that gives you more better detail in the graphics and smoother frame rate and the 4k experience so honestly we don't officially know yet but if it's honestly true that they will do this and both consoles are going to be 400 bucks honestly it will be a literally a fair battle between the series x and the ps5 and it's not going to be like one's going to win over the other and all that good stuff basically like what happened with the 360 over the PS3 and the PS4 over the Xbox One. So, honestly, most likely the price point of these two consoles are either going to be 400 bucks or 500 bucks. Those are the main two price points because they see that if they go so much over that, uh, people are not going to like it and they're not going to sell as many consoles as they were hoping, like, you know, straight out of the way. So... Honestly, I honestly think that it's a possibility that the PlayStation 5 and the Xbox Series X is honestly going to be 
I honestly think that there's a big possibility they may be 400 bucks. But I personally don't think that that's the case because of how we basically are going to have a Lockhart coming out. So the Lockhart most likely is going to be the cheaper next-gen version of the Xbox Series X and all that good stuff. So, yeah. But, um, yeah, we're just going to have to wait and see. But what I will is say is that we will be getting a price point of these consoles sometime very, very soon because we literally only have like a few more months till these next gen consoles initially launch. So, yeah, so we will be getting a price point within sometime soon because if you think about it, pre orders are going to be starting and they haven't even started yet. So, yeah, we will be getting a price point very soon most likely sometime in the next month or two there's a rumor that sony's going to have an event where they're going to show off their playstation 5 on june 2nd and then microsoft has confirmed that they're going to be showing off first first party games on their xbox series x in july so possibly in this june and july is probably when we're going to see how much the consoles are going to cost so yeah but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys could, please hit a like if you enjoy the video. Send me down in the comment section down below of what the price is that you think that the next gen consoles are going to cost. <clears throat> do you think that the PS5 is going to cost 500 bucks, or do you think it's going to cost 400 and Sony will take the big loss? And do you think that the Series X is also going to be 400 like Michael Pactor saying? on they'll take a big loss or do you think it's going to be 500 bucks with including the Lockhart going to be the more cheaper version of next gen so just send me down in the comment section down below of your thoughts and also for those of you that are new to new to the channel hit that subscribe button and we will be sure to keep you guys posted with more gaming content in the future and all that good stuff so hit a like comment down below and subscribe for those of you that are new and we will catch you guys on the next video. So, peace out.